Hi there, and welcome to this online information session for accepted students. If you're watching this and you've been accepted to SUNY Cortland, congratulations. We've created this video because of the difficult circumstances that we're facing in spring 2020 surrounding the coronavirus, COVID-19. Now, there's no way that a one minute aerial tour or virtual presentation can do full justice to a Cortland visit. We're gonna try our best to share some need to know information that might be helpful for accepted students and future Red Dragons. Before we dive in, you should know that you can contact the admissions office if you have specific questions about an academic program or an opportunity on campus. You can chat with us online or email us. We certainly will do our best to answer your specific questions. And if we don't know the answer, we'll look to put you in touch with an office that can best help you out. So the main question that we're hoping to answer with this presentation is why should SUNY Cortland be at the top of my college list? We'll sprinkle in some facts and some figures and key dates, but we want you to see yourself doing awesome things in Cortland and beyond. One thing that's important to know is that for many students, Cortland is just the right size. It's big enough that you have a ton of academic and social opportunities, it's small enough that you get individual attention in your classes and you have the chance to be a big fish in a small pond. We're a campus of just shy of 7,000 students when you add up undergrads and grads. In the fall, we usually welcome a class of 1,200 first year and 600 transfer students. The average class size is just shy of 25. You likely will have some larger lecture hall style classes early on. Class sizes tend to get smaller as you move on into your major requirements. Besides getting a sense of the size, one thing that's important to see during a campus visit is just how much we've invested in our buildings at Court. It extends from academic space to residence halls, recreation facilities. Bowers Hall, which is home to departments such as biological sciences, and chemistry, and geology, and physics, saw a $43 million upgrade in 2014. It brought new classrooms, collaborative space, research labs, and equipment, and even a planetarium. Our professional studies building completed a renovation in 2011 that brought sim similar facilities for popular departments within the School of Professional Studies. Besides lab space and modern classrooms, it also includes a speech clinic that serves the local community. Dragon Hall, our newest student residence, opened its doors in 2015. Dragon has earned awards for its sustainable and modern features. Many residence halls like it have been renovated in the past decade. And we'll mention a little bit more about living on campus in a few minutes. The ground floor of our student union welcomed three new eateries to campus in fall 2018. Importantly, it brought a brighter and a more welcoming area for our students to grab a quick meal or catch an open mic night during the week. And finally, our Student Life Center really does stand out as a national model for health and wellness in all of its forms. It's a $56 million building that opened in 2015 with a new dining hall, two levels of exercise equipment, several multi-use courts, swimming pool, climbing wall, outdoor pursuit center, pretty much anything you'd ever want in a recreation building. At the end of the day, it helps underscore our belief that in order to be at your best inside of the classroom, you've got to feel good outside of it. Another really important thing to know about Cortland is that we're easily accessible in the center of New York State. Now, the high percentage of our students come from New York, but we're proud to welcome students from across the country and the world within 45 minutes of a major airport in Syracuse and also close to cities like Binghamton and Ithaca. When we talk about safety in Cortland, we were incredibly proud to be named the safest college town in New York and among the top 20 in the nation according to SafeWise in 2019. When you're here, you'll discover that we have an up and coming downtown that's just a short walk from campus, as well as easy access to outdoor activity. One of the most important things to know about Cortland is how much opportunity exists academically here, as well as our strengths across all majors. If you were to look at a list, 
you'd see 68 different programs across our School of Arts and Sciences, our School of Education, and our School of Professional Studies. We're incredibly proud of our reputation in teacher education and the fact that we have 17 different programs offering certification. But we know the strength of our teachers is matched by students who want to study business or the humanities or a major in the natural sciences. If you looked at some of our most recent program developments, you'd see majors like healthcare management, environmental geoscience, media production, and a retooled BFA program in musical theater. Now, one really helpful resource that exists from our majors page is a detailed program information page button. So when you click on a major, you visit the majors page. And with this detailed program information, you can learn more about a specific program. Everything from a detailed description to career potential to a semester by semester breakdown of the courses that you'll take. This is incredibly helpful in getting to know what a major requires more about what you'll actually learn. In addition to all of our majors, we have pre-professional pathways that introduce students to opportunities in field like, fields like medicine, law, and physical therapy. They help ensure that students are taking the right courses and that they're exposed to the right opportunities outside of the classroom that are going to help make them competitive applicants. Those opportunities may include research, and at SUNY Cortland, students actually can get paid to pursue an independent project or travel to present on, present on it. It's also important to note that students don't have to know what they want to major in when they get to Cortland. In fact, our pre-major program is pretty popular. Students receive guidance from our advisement and transition team, and they join a learning community that entails they take the right courses built around a similar theme with a common cohort of classmates. When we talk about the first year experience at Cortland, we have the saying known as Red Dragon Strong. Obviously, it's a nod to our Red Dragon mascot, but it's also a reference to the many programs, offices, and resources that are in place to support Cortland students, especially first years. Our Advisement and Transition Office, which is located in the library, does an awesome job managing orientation in our Core 101 experience. Orientation is a, a two-day experience offered several times during the summer depending on your major. It's where students meet classmates, they're introduced to campus resources, they go over a preset schedule with faculty members from their department. 4101 takes that acclimation process a step further. It's a semester-long graded seminar experience that introduces new students to campus life. Adirondack Trailblazers is another unique program for all new Cortland students where you can go to our outdoor campus in the Adirondacks the week before classes begin for activities and to help build friendships. The Peer-to-Peer -peer Mentoring Program is a free but selective opportunity created by our Multicultural Life and Diversity Office at Coral. It's for students from underrepresented backgrounds who may need help navigating college life, especially early on. They're matched with a junior or senior year mentor. They attend a retreat early in the fall at our outdoor campus and they connect several times throughout the year as a check-in. Finally, there are several other offices, academic, social, and health-related, that can help students in need. The Learning Center offers tutoring services, the Counseling Center can help with any mental health concerns, and the Writing Center can help work through the planning, editing, and thinking that goes into writing. Something else that's really important to know about Cortland is that between clubs and extracurriculars and events, you should never be bored as a student. In terms of student clubs, there are close to 18, 80 opportunities offered on campus. Some of them are themed around academic or career interests. Some have to do with performing. Others relate to culture and ethnicity. The point is that there are a ton of them and you can browse a current list at courtland.edu slash clubs. If you want to go overseas during your time at Cortland, our International Programs Office will help get you there, whether it's through one of our programs in places like or Australia or Belize or Germany, or whether it's through a program at another SUNY institution. International Programs is super helpful in the sense that they offer weekly study abroad 101 info sessions that outline everything that you need to know from program length to potential scholarship opportunities. 
of the biggest questions from accepted students during the spring have to do with residence life and housing. In Portland, roughly half of our undergrads live on campus across 17 different residence options. There are several different living options that go along with them. Photos, residence hall descriptions, a list of what to bring, and much more, you can visit courtland.edu slash reslife. In terms of important dates, accepted students should know that they can go online from early April to May 31st to fill out their housing preference form, where they can answer more about themselves and their living habit and their living habits. Of course, many of our students share an interest in athletics at Cortland. Whether that means competing on one of our Division III teams, or joining a sport club, or playing in intramurals. When we talk about athletics, we like to highlight a few things. First, the tradition that speaks for itself with more than 130 national championships. We have approximately 600 Division III student athletes at Cortland who compete across 25 sports. Another quality that we like to highlight is opportunity. If you're not playing on one of our Division III teams, there are many more opportunities that exist through recreational sports, which is housed in the Student Life Center. Finally, we like to talk about Red Dragon Pride at Cortland. You sense it walking across campus from the sweatshirts that our students wear, and you definitely feel it leading up to our annual Cortica Jug game, which welcomes thousands and thousands of fans. One of the many things that makes Cortland special is the spirit that our campus community shares. Now we talk a lot about the experience that students have at Cortland over four years. We care just as for first job interviews after graduation. They help organize events like our teacher recruitment day, which brings more than a hundred school districts to Cortland. And those are school districts looking to hire new teachers. Career Services also works in conjunction with alumni engagement to plan uh, our alumni speaker series events in different majors and disciplines. These types of events lead to networking opportunities beyond court. Another vital byproduct of Career Services is the graduate outcomes report that's prepared every year. Basically, it looks at survey responses from the previous year's graduating class to determine where students have gone whether it's directly into the job market, or graduate school, or still seeking employment. The report includes a breakdown by major, along with lists of job titles and destinations. You can access a PDF yourself by visiting courtland.edu slash outcomes. Some final pieces of information, first about transfer credit. If you've taken an AP course or scored a three or higher, and if you've taken a course through a different college and earned a C- minus or better, it likely will transfer to Courtland. We'll eventually need to see transcripts and score reports after graduation. Our transfer equivalency charts are incredible. But we think there's incredible value to be had at Cortland, both in terms of experience and the actual costs associated with it. There's a reason we're the highest ranked medium-sized SUNY school Money Magazine's list of best colleges for your money. We also try to be transparent about these costs online and in all of our materials. And if you have questions about any federal or state aid you may qualify for, you can contact our financial aid office. Now, in terms of merit scholarships, it's important to remember that these awards are extremely competitive at public institutions like Cortland. The criteria that we list here are minimums to be reviewed. After that, our admissions office considers the rigor of courses, performance in main content areas and state exams, as well as other qualities. There are many excellent students who may not earn merit scholarships. But it's important to remember that there are program-specific awards that students may earn during their time at court. Now, a lot of information that we've shared in a short amount of time, and there's no way that it's comprehensive. Looking, to ne uh, looking ahead to next steps for accepted students, it's a good idea to check out our transfer equivalency charts if you've taken college level courses. Think about filling out your housing preference form between April and late May. Take advantage of several other online resources that we're offering, including live webinars and live chats with staff and students. We'll share a link in the comments section below. And of course, 
If you see Cortland as your top choice, and we hope that you do, we encourage you to, to submit your admission deposit online by May 1st. And above all, if you do have questions during the college decision process, please contact us in the admissions office at your convenience. We want you to get good information, and we want you to see Cortland as your future home. We look forward to seeing all that you can accomplish as a Red Dragon and beyond.